Welcome to the Cooking Corner. We're happy to welcome back Alfredo Vargas from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. He's making some pan seared scallops with a butternut squash cream sauce. Alfredo, welcome back. Good, Good to see you. Thank you very much for having me. This Absolutely. is uh, this could be intimidating for some people. You know, a lot of people, they go to a restaurant to get scallops. Absolutely. But you can make it at home. You can. Uh, a lot of people are intimidated by it because it's a very delicate piece of fish. Right. Uh, but I will go to show them how to make it so simple easy and then maybe you can stay home and enjoy the family with some of these yeah, little wonderful scallops. So what are we going to do first? We're going to start and sear the, the scallops, which is going to take like a minute, minute to 10 seconds in okay. each side. And then later on, I will show you guys how to make the, the sauce. Uh, sauce, absolutely, which is a butternut squash sauce. Uh, we have the butternut squash over here being roasted, being not roasted at all, open. And then you can just get in a local store as well. Okay, great. Okay, Fantastic. so we're going to start with the scallop. So we're going to do our olive oil. Our pan has pre been preheated. Okay. Uh, that way we don't need to wait too long since uh, we got just short time to do it. We put a little bit of our garlic. Okay. We to let it roast for a little bit. Now we can season our scallops with they're right here. I already have them and the piece of paper towel, that way they can take all the water out of it. And I was asking you a second ago, how do you make sure that these are fresh scallops and, and good to go? They come in perfectly sealed already in their own, okay. in their own juice. And uh, when you get them from the store, they should be sealed. And then yes, you're good to have that strong odor. They a lot yeah. more strong fishy odor uh, all of the shrimp. Yeah. But, but that's, that's the order that the scallops produce. Definitely a strong smell. And this yeah. doesn't take long to cook at all, does it? No, we go to do a minute in one side and another minute in the other one. Okay. And with perfect, perfect sear. Okay. Uh, if you overcook it, it's going to be very rubbery. Okay. So we want to make sure we get a mirror. That way you're able to enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. So that's a minute so on each side. Let's, let's do, let's have these ones uh, cook for right now. Okay. We're going to transfer them in here, and, and we're going to start and show how to do the sauce. Perfect. It's very simple as well. So we're going to start with the olive oil. Okay. Of course, the pan is already preheat, and we got those that don't cannot find scallops in the store. Don't worry about it. Just chop a white onions. Okay. With this, it's the same family. So there's your onions or so scallops, and you do your garlic. Just please follow the recipe, it'll be perfectly fine. Then we have our roasted butternut squash already, get them out of the shell. And this is what gives it a fall theme. That's what gives it the fall. And then you can, when you roast it, you're just using um, salt and pepper, okay. a little bit of oil, rub it with a little bit of olive oil. Just put it in the oven? And or? put it in the oven for 45 minutes and it'll be perfectly done. Okay. Um, so what do we do here? You smash it, the whole thing, the whole mixture together. Okay. And then when you get that nice, this cook all the way, so we don't have to wait for them to cook no more. Yeah, the, the smells are so good right now. Oh yeah, the garlic and the, the shallows as well. And you get your cream. It's very, very, very simple. We're not using any wine, any liqueur, any type of stuff. We make it very simple for right. everybody at home to be able to do it. Okay. So you got to let this one simmer for two, three minutes. And after it simmer, for all those ladies out there at home, gentlemen, that you guys have a hand blender like this. Uh huh. Please, this is the most safe thing to do because you plug it in and you can do it in the same do it very, very quick. Very quick. And you have a finished product of it. We right have there. a finished product. Uh, after this is blend, we can use any strainer, any kind. I love okay. these ones for the flour. Yeah. But you just put in there and all the chunks that were there will be able to take it out. So the finished product is right here. And then do you put it on at the end once you finish with the scallops? We go to put it before we present our plate. Okay. As we all see, we already got some sear in our scallops. I uh -huh. think that 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 one is not strong enough. Right. There we go. Now we get some action. And we're running out of time, but uh, yes. we would put that strained version on top of this and then plate it. So what are we going to do? Because we ran out of time, we just need to put our sauce right in the bottom of the plate. Awesome. Perfect. Right here. And then put it on top and then And then you just well. put it right in the center as you see a, a finished product in there. Awesome. Garnish it and then we're ready to enjoy it. Alfredo, thank you so much. You can check out many more recipes just like this one. Just go to our website, newsonsix.com slash recipes. We'll be right back after this break.